Today, we're going to take a close look at Ben Hogan's lead leg extension, which helps him explode through impact. You're watching My Swing Evolution. Okay, guys. Let's take a look at the amazing swing of Ben Hogan in this wonderful shot where he has a grid set up behind him. I'm not sure who shot this, so fill me in if you know who did this. But it shows us so much about his weight transfer and how he's using his legs. So real quick, the first thing I want to talk about is I'm noticing, and this was pointed out to me by, by Jim McLean, um, he wasn't a stack and tilter. He actually really went into that right leg. And I, it's my belief that it's hidden a little bit how much he went into that right leg because he drove his right hip so far behind him that he's going way deep into that right leg. I see a fall. And I think that we can see evidence of that, A, from as he makes his lateral shift to the left, we're going to see his head drop. But also if we watch his belt on the left side, it's in line with that white line behind him. We're going to see he lowers slightly there. And then as he gets into that left knee, it looks to me that his left leg is not resisting until he catches himself right here. And that's the fall. And so to me, the key thing is that Mr. Hogan is falling and catching and then extending. So he rears back into his right leg. He transfers his weight into his left leg. And we're going to see this left leg extend earlier than I am currently. So this is the key couple of frames that I'm looking at, is how he's driving out of that leg sooner, and he's getting that left hip pushed to the rear sooner. So that's what I'm working on in my golf swing. So that's the great Mr. Hogan. I don't think it gets any better. I think Sam Snead is right there with him. But if you'd like more analysis of the Hogan Golf Swing, check out my Swing Evolution and become a member or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Got 27 million views. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. <laughs> The over-the-top move has been around forever. If you look at golfers before the 1960s, like Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and even Ben Hogan, you'll notice they had a little over-the-top move. But that's because they took the club back to the inside, under the plane, and put it on the plane. Today, everybody's teaching that you take the club outside and over the plane to drop it in. I found that this causes pushes and hooks and it just hurt my back. Ask yourself what would happen if Sam Snead or Bobby Jones went to a golf teacher today. I bet you they'd change their swing and probably ruin their game. My over the top miracle swing is the easiest way to hit solid golf shots. It's time to switch your swing and get better at golf. Just go to myswingevolution.com.